In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four hanging ribbons infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this uh, bar here. When I click, it will show me the first ribbon in the pink color. You can add the icon, the option number, title. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light blue color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the first one the rectangle draw or rectangle bar something like this shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to uh, uh, fill from the fill select the gradient fill and here i'm going to use uh, four different colors so the first top i'm going to make this as white and then the last top also i'm going to make this as white then here i'm just moving this one and for this i'm going to make it kind of a dark gray color and here i'm going to make it as a light gray color so our bar looks something like this again if you want you can just reduce the size a little bit all right maybe this much size is enough and you can bring the white stops much closer here okay so it looks something like this you can see here let me just move a little bit yeah so once this is done let me just go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw or rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and make it a uh, less transparent okay somewhat transparent here then go to the insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose a rectangle which is rounded corner draw a rounded corner rectangle here this also i'm going to make it transparent and let me just give some different color for easier understanding all right so i'm just going to place it something like this and i'm going to make one more by pressing ctrl d and here i'm going to cut it something like this you can see here the one which i would like to reduce the size a little bit here you can see here here also a little bit so it should our design should look something like this okay this one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one all right and let me just select this there's some problem i believe it is not selecting yeah now select this one go to the shape format more shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right so shape outline make it no outline for this then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw a small trapezoid and rotate this one i'm going to make this as a flip vertical put it exactly on top of this so let me just zoom in i'm going to put it exactly on top of this okay then right mouse click edit points you can see this point just drag this something like this you can see here and this one make it straight so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this and here i would like a straight from this side so for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and i'm going to cut this much part all right so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract okay let me just move a little bit up shape outline make it no outline then press ctrl d to duplicate move it aside rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and attach both one you can see here yeah so it looks something like this so let me just select this one and make this as transparency zero and this also i'm going to make it transparency zero then i'm going to give a different color and a 3d look to it so first of all select this one go to the effects under the 3d format go to the top bevel and select this one which is the bevel round and you can increase the width a little bit and you can increase the height as well so you can see here it looks somewhat a kind of a, a shape like this and then this color i'm going to give this color as a pink color 
all right and then here also i'm going to give the same 3d look for that i don't need to go to again effects and do the changes so i can just use the format painter and copy it so select the format painter and apply it here okay and the same thing i can do this for these two options as well so select this one click it here again click it here okay and then select both of these and send to back or you can select this one bring to front okay so bring to front and move it a, a little bit up reduce the size you can see here the width a little bit and let me just zoom in as you can see here these particular edges are going on top of that I, I would like to cut these edges for that go to the insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle exactly the size of this one which is the it should match with the bottom okay of this bar so select this shape hold the shift key select this one more shape and subtract so you can see here we have cut the edges here okay so now it looks something like this so once this is done what you can do is you can group all together press ctrl g to group it then go to the insert text box you can add the option number one here zero one center line make it font as white you can make it bold increase the size and put the option number one here then go to insert put the title again this also center align make it bold and white font and then i'm going to add some detailed text here add detail text here again this will be center align white font and put it here all right and one more thing you can do is you can add some icons to it but before that one let me just make a shadow effect for this so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle a, a little bit bigger than this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make this as black increase the transparency level to maybe 50 to 60 percent go to the effects under the soft edges increase the soft edges here you can see here let me just increase it a little bit and then send this to back so we have got the shadow effect as well here and then for this also i would like to give a shadow effect so go to the shadow presets and choose this one and increase the distance so you can see here i've created the shadow effect as well for this so once this is done i'm going to select all the shapes and press ctrl g to group it now hold the shift key ctrl shift key and drag it so this two select both and then drag this one all right so you can see here it's done so now i can just simply select this one and give any color of my choice so i can just give the same color here and here also and here as well again if you want to give a kind of a gradient fill you can do for this also for that let me just select the gradient fill so i don't want this one so i want the color this color inside color to be the same color what i have used and here at the corner i would like to give a darker blue all right so select this one and darker blue and then the direction it should be like this and move this here so you can see here a little bit of we can give a kind of a gradient effect here if you want you can do the same thing for the others as well so this is my option number two and this is my option number three and again you can give some different color here maybe a green this also green you can repeat f4 to repeat f4 you can use it and then i can just give the same gradient fill here then comes maybe i can give a purple here and here also purple and done so you can see here this is my option number four again if you want you can add some icons to it so once this is done you can group it maybe it's already grouped so what we can do is go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select all this and then go and make it as fly in fly in it should come from left all right and then make sure it should be on click and right mouse click effect options 
you can increase the bounce end a little bit and click ok so it comes something like this again if you want this one to come from right you can just select right so here also you can select right okay so if i play now the slide looks something like this first option second option third option and fourth option